Suze, guess what I did last night? I signed up for the PCT. Isn't that cool? PCT. She's a little uncomfortable with it. So I started out, well first let me tell you who I am. I've been married for over 30 years. I have, uh, I have four kids, they're all insane. Um, and my father's from Denmark, mom's from Mexico. So I guess I got the Viking adventurous part running through my, my veins. Some of the things I did to prepare for the uh, PCT. Um, well, well, first you have to sign up for the permit. And that takes a while. And as you know, in 2021, um, they had to wait because of the COVID. Um, usually in 2020, October, that would be the time you would see if you could get a permit. Um, once you, uh, get the permit, which it takes forever, two to three weeks till you get it. And you have certain months and days that you, you choose. Um, and if you're lucky, and I do think it is by luck, um, you'll get your permit. I have PCT cards here. Do I believe in Bigfoot? Well, Bigfoot is filming and he would be on screen time too but uh you know he's a little camera shy and he also doesn't like the name bigfoot it's supposed to not be pc but whatever so i gotta figure out a good name for him let's see on my pct card is how do you prepare for the pct well i did some marathon training what i mean by that is that i started out with three miles then you mix it up with four or five, at least the program they gave you. You keep going until the long runs run from six miles and then eight miles, which you do like once a week. I got up to about 15 miles and then I, I said that was enough. This last couple of weeks, I haven't been running because I wanna make sure that I don't have any injuries, uh, but I still been doing the weights. I don't like weight rooms. So what I did, is I took my backpack and I took weights and I put them in my backpack. I took 10, 20, 30, and 35 pounds. And I took that and three times a week or so I went and walked around the neighborhood. Let's see what else we have on our PCT card. I prepare my home for the PCT. You wanna make sure that people think you're at home and you don't wanna come home and have your house flooded. So shut off the water. Also shut it off at all the sinks, the washing machine, near the toilets. Um, but another thing, you do not wanna turn off your electricity. You wanna have automatic lights. That way it looks like somebody's home. And if someone is home, make sure Smith & Wesson stays with them. Um, also make sure a neighbor picks up your mail um, because you want your house to look like it's occupied. Let's see what else we have on our PCT card. So it says, does a bear Tootsie Fruit in the woods? <laughs> well, I know I'll be. And things about Tootsie Fruit and in the woods is that for me, when I gotta go, I gotta go. So what I'm thinking, it's kind of embarrassing to say, I'll carry extra plastic bags, I'll pick it up, carry it at 200 feet away, and then bury it six inches under. And of course, you have to carry out all your waste. Well, as I remember, little rodents like to even dig up 
I've seen people where they bury the TP, they have their Tootsie Roll on it, and then the little rodents come around and they scatter it all over. So I'm afraid is that when I make camp and I put, I don't want to put my Tootsie Roll TP covered in my bear canister, but I don't because, and I don't want to leave it out there, which I've heard some people do because I'm afraid that the rodents will take it and spread out all over the place. So I got this rat sack and I'm going to put it all in here. And that way the rodents can't get in here and put it all over the place. Let's see what else we have in our PCT card. What kind of gear are you bringing? Yes. A common question, what kind of gear will I be bringing? I'll be bringing solar or my cell phone. I'll be bringing battery backup. I'm using it for my cell phone again. I'll be bringing some crampons. or the snow. Make sure I don't slip. Cause that would be a heck of a fall. I bring my sunglasses. Cause when you're walking in the snow, you could get sun blind. And um, also of course in the desert. I'll be bringing my spoon fork combo. I also bring in a coffee cup or applesauce or hot cocoa and that. I'll be bringing my little stove here and I have my propane bottle inside. Just kind of cool, very light. I also bring in some darn socks. I have some that I'll sleep in, they're all wool. Someone will hike in when the weather's kind of cool. And then I'll bring some liners. It helps with blisters and also you can just wear them when it's hot. I also will be using trail shoes, which will be a first for me because I usually use boots. And I'm concerned about my feet getting wet and cold. So what I've decided to do is I bought these waterproof socks made by Seal skin. I tested them and they do, they do work. I'll be bringing a towel to dry off those wet feet or whatever if they get wet. Some more liners. And then I also have, I know it's not as macho as it should be, but when I'm sleeping my feet get cold. And if my feet do get cold after walking um, I want to make sure I, I get them nice and warm. These are filled with um, down feathers. I also have my little cook set here, which I did, which is pretty darn light. Sets up like this. Most of you backpackers know all about it. And then the flames come here and you put the propane bottle here, voila. Also, as you know, backpackers, you got a problem with mosquitoes. So I'm bringing my little mosquito net for my head. That'll cover that. I'm also bringing headlamp. Hopefully I don't have to do any night hiking. I don't like that idea. I also bring in some Water filters. I have one, my main one, it's by Sawyer. And I'm also bringing a backup. And of course, I'm bringing my, my glasses because I don't see as good. And then you're gonna bring a map. And yes, there are plenty of apps out there of the trail that you can check out. Um, but it's important to bring uh, the old school map as well. Now, of course, I'm not gonna put these all in my, my 
backpack in the beginning because um, it is pretty heavy. But look at all these maps for the PCT. It's a heck of a lot of maps. Of course, you make our stuff a little um, medical kit. I have mostly for blisters. You know, near spring. These are my favorite kind of band-aids. Bring some of that. And then, of course, Ben for the mosquitoes. This stuff works really good. And then, of course, a lot of backpackers use smart bottles. I think they use it as a confidence builder. Let's see, what else? Oh, let's take a walk. I have my, my ski hat, keep my head warm. And also, we have my gaiters for the snow. I have my, keep my neck warm, over my nose, keeps everything warm. And then I have my mat. And I overkilled on this. This is R6 rating. I use this typically in the four season. It's pretty noisy. Um, it's made by Thermo Rest, but it's really good. You don't want to sleep on cold ground. I also bring in my gloves. It's a two piece. I have one here. I don't have to worry about getting wet. And then I also have, in case it gets really, really cold out, these keep you pretty warm. Some might say it's an overkill. This is kind of neat for the mat is that you stick this in there and then you use this to blow it up. I think that's very clever. I'm bringing a mat to put under the other mat to protect it. And here's my backpack. I'm using it Atmos 65. It's pretty good. I think so. It's new. I'm also going to use a rain cover because these aren't waterproof. I'm also bringing an 800 fill gum jacket. It might be a little overkill, but I don't like it. Cold. My wife would call this cozy, but you didn't hear me say that. I also have rain pants. They're not the lightest ones, but they look pretty stylish. Then I have my rain jacket. Again, just a little bit of an overkill, but I've heard of some of these rain jackets. Uh, people still get wet underneath, and I trust this guy. I've had this one for years. And of course you have to have your hat. Outrageous. Then I have my sleeping bag. It's synthetic and it's about zero degrees if you really want I must have had these walking sticks for uh, over a decade now. They're made by Black Diamond. They're really good. They really do help. First, I didn't want to use walking sticks because I didn't think. That, was, that wasn't macho, you know? But when you use them, it, it's macho enough. I'm bringing my convertible pants. They unzip here, turn into shorts. I'm bringing my Mary Poppins umbrella for the heat. Of course, I got my my tent, Big Agnes, which I should be the big dude. And of course, you have the ice axe, the lifesaver when you're 
on those uh, snowy edges. I have some merino wool pants to keep me warm um, and some Under Armour for the chest. Now I think I show these to my wife. She'll she'll feel feel comfortable that I'm nice and uh, cozy. Let's see what else the PCT cards have to say. What kind of foods will I eat? Well, there'll be nothing on the um, Bear Grill diet. I think this is another comfort for my wife is that uh, I eat. Now the situation is, is that I hear the first two weeks, at least I remember the JMT, that I didn't realize. But when you put your body through so much strain, the first two weeks you're not going to want to eat much. And then after that, you, you know, you know, you're going to want to eat all the time. I did the John Muir Trail, I came back pretty light. Um, so, hope to do a little bit better. Uh, you, these are just examples. You could have peaches dried up. Famous one is tortillas. You could put peanut butter on here. You know, you can carry it, buy them like this. Maybe put some raisins on them. Um, another popular one is pasta. And then of course you have your granola bars you can add. Um, you have other items that you can bring, chocolate, Rice Krispies. Um, and then of course a popular one in the morning is oatmeal. And of course uh, you can bring danishes and so forth. A lot of candy and a lot of chocolate. Um, then you have of course the popular one is tuna and chicken you can bring. And we also have mashed potatoes is a popular one. Let me give a reach here. And of course we have your popular trail mix. And you have a college favorite. This one happens to be roast chicken flavor. I will not be uh, sending food forward. I will be stopping into town and grabbing whatever I need and uh, mosey on. I'm planning on starting slow because it is a long way um, rather than coming out of the gate really fast. I think it's important, of course, because I don't want any blisters. Let's see what else my PCT card says. Two of the greatest fears is blisters and blisters and more blisters. I don't want blisters. More PCT. Are there cougars on the trail? Yes. And youngsters, beware the two-legged ones. Uh, more on the PCT card. How to protect yourself against a bear with a slower runner. Another one that PCT. Are you worried about snow only? Only, only the yellow kind. There's no problem. When I walk on snow, it just kind of melts away. Another one. What about lightning? Bring a taller person. Are there any zombies on the trails? I'm sure there are. They're called PC Teeters. Do you bring PJs? What? Say wait. Two things you will miss while on the PCT other than your family. One. Well, that's private. Two. Where the king goes alone. Another thing on the PCT card. What not to tell your wife the dangers on the PCT. Now there's such a long list of dangers that I had to write down some of them. Now one of the three main animals, of course, are the bears, the mountain lions, and the rattlesnakes. 
you'll see a lot of rattlesnakes. Um, people rarely die with rattlesnake bites. Bears, um, you make yourself big and it, you know you give them the respect, they'll just mosey, mosey on. You know, you can always, what's up? And they'll move on. Um, mountain lions, as I said before, um, if you fight them off, they'll move on. Um, there's some other things you need to worry about that you could die or have an issue with is uh, dehydration. Um, there's going to be a lot of water being stashed out there. That's some really nice people. Um, but I wouldn't count on it. Make sure you bring plenty, plenty of water. Now each smart bottle with water will be two pounds and up, a little over two pounds. Um, so whatever you think you'll, you need to get to the next point is what you should carry. Um, lightning, again, bring a, bring a taller person. But I think lightning, if there's lightning on the peak, stay down until it's time. Till it clears, of course there's rock slides. There's forest fires, it's a total bummer. I'd hate to see it happen, but it is California. But anyways, you have earthquakes. Again, it is the West Coast. Drunk drivers, sometimes we have to, you know, walk the trail, uh, the roads. Um, you have sleepy drivers, which is just as bad as a drunk driver. You have cattle drivers, you have mosquitoes, the world's dangerous animal out there. Um, then you have stomach issues, so you have to make sure you filter your water. Um, and even then, you could still have problems. Um, I will be bringing baby wipes and an extra pair of chummies. Falling. Now that's why we have the ice axe, if you fall on the snow, we catch you but still be very careful. Um, swept away in a river. Yeah, you really gotta time yourself with the rivers. I hear if you go early in the morning, it's not as fast, but that's another way. Um, heat stroke, not drinking enough of uh, the smart water. Also known as goose wine by my uncle in Denmark. So drink plenty of goose wine. Um, hypothermia, um, dehydration. And there's even some places where they have um, bombs that haven't been exploded, so be aware. So these are some of the things that are the dangers, and that's just the small list that you don't wanna talk to you, talk to your wife about, or anybody that's a little bit of nervous, a little bit of nervous. But the best thing to do for their uh, comp for a confidence builder is to get a second wife. So they can contact you anytime. Oh, that's about it. Stay free, stay brave, and Ramblers out.